Hello everyone. It has been brought to my attention that the attention span is dying. Now, I love watching people like The Right Opinion and Scrubby and people who do long documentaries. However, I have noticed that my concentration is dwindling. I have a challenge to combat this, but first, a question. When did our attention spans go from 10 minutes to 2 to 60 seconds? I also put a question on my community tab the other day asking who has a longer attention span, humans or the goldfish? To Choco Cat Chat, you got it right. It is the goldfish. Their attention span is nine minutes. I don't think that's good. When I was little, we used to put babies in front of programs that were 10 to 15 minutes long. They would watch that and that would keep them entertained. Those were for babies. However, now on average, two minutes is all we can focus on. And that's a stretch. I grew up in a religious household where I heard someone talk for two hours every Sunday, so my concentration is very good. But even then, I still had to study beforehand and take notes when I was there in order to focus on what I was learning, or my mind would wander. To combat this, I propose that we band together against the attention span loss. I'm not saying that we should ban TikTok or any other kind of short form content. I like short form content, but we must do something to balance out the effects. I'm doing a reading challenge. I'm considering a writing challenge at some point because doctor's handwriting has now become the norm. Try doing things that don't need electricity, reading, writing, knitting, etc. If you find reading difficult, have an audiobook and just listen. Don't put it in the background. Pause occasionally and see what you can remember. Drawing is another good one because that also helps with the hand-eye coordination. If you are left-handed like me, I will leave a link to the things that I use so as not to get ink all over your hands. Oh, and sewing and mending things are also good. Think about your dad if every time you asked him to do something for you, he was too distracted. Would you have got anything done? No. For me, I brush my pet's teeth and I do all of their pet care. You have to concentrate on that or you will get bitten. If anyone's interested, I'll do a video on the different types of pet care that I do. If your parents had the same attention span as you, nothing would have got done. However, when I was little, there were two kinds of people who always had to be stimulated. Those were children and the white powder people. Those were the ones that needed a lot of stimulation, and we thought they were weird. We don't want to be like those people. Podcasts are another good option if you're not good at reading, or even if you are, because you can put them in the background and listen and pause and see what you can remember. I listen to True Crime, and I like Mr. Borland and Danielle Kirsty. I will leave links to all their stuff in the description. If you want to do the reading challenge my way, this is how I'm going to do it. First, get an audiobook. Then you listen to that audiobook all the way through. If you want to pause and listen and see what you can remember in between, do that. Then you either buy yourself an ebook or you get yourself a physical book and you read for yourself. The book I'm going to be reading is called The Ragamuffins. I have been trying to read this book for so long. Anyone who has been on my channel for a very long time will know that I have been trying to do this for ages and will remember that community post where I said I was trying to read this before. If you look at this picture, you will see how long I've been trying to read it and the fact that the front cover has had to be sellotaped back on because of constant opening. I will leave links to the book and how you can get hold of it if you want to read it as well, but any book will do. We need to be able to concentrate like Sherlock Holmes. To anyone who knows the book, then you probably remember his brother who had all the brains. Even better than Sherlock Holmes, but no motivation and would have preferred to be proven wrong rather than go out of his way to prove himself right. We don't want to be like that. He actually said... 
I can't be going around on my hands and knees with a lens to my eye. So he had lack of motivation, but yet better brains than Sherlock. What a shame. We do not want to be like that. We must not be like that. Fight back if you realise that your concentration is dwindling. Oh, and keep in mind, learning does not end just because you're an adult. Learning does not stop with parenthood. And yes, you can learn things from your children. They sometimes have a point of view that you didn't see. When your head is not full of taxes, you might notice something that adults don't. If you know anyone who would do this challenge, then please tag them. I'm going to tag Poncho because I saw him do a video on this topic. Let's see how many people can join us. I will leave Poncho's link in the description. Again, if you find reading difficult, puzzles are another good one. I also love card games. Who still plays them? If you really want to challenge yourself, gardening is good. Plant something like an apple tree and watch it grow. You can't speed it up or make it grow any faster. 10 to 15 years later, when the apple hits you on the head, you will not realise how much the time flew by and it will be worth it because the apple belongs to you. An idea that you might want to do to make the time fly faster is to take pictures every week of your progress and post it to your socials. Then everyone else will see your achievement and praise you and the time will fly even faster. The main reason I'm doing this video is because if we don't do something quick, if the attention span is two minutes now, what will it be for our children? They will not get the care and support that they need because no one will be able to pay attention long enough. We have seen what happens when iPads raise children, and I'm sorry to say it, but plonking your child in front of a screen is not parenting. It's easy, but it's not beneficial, and it just adds to the problem. Here is one more thing to make you think about improving your attention span. My pet, Hunt. They will lock on to something that they want to hunt, whether it be a moth or something like that, and they will not stop until they have pounced on and finished that thing. They could be there for up to half an hour. Do you really want to have an attention span less than my cat or my dog? And when we had Sylvie, they used to genuinely plan. One person would be on the litter box, another would be on the carpet, another person would stand on my back under the window. And I was just there to be trodden on and that was how they worked. And the insect would either fly back out the window or be eaten. She used to be a master of organisation. She was like, you Bonjo on the bed, you Jack on the floor, me, I'm going to stand on the litter box because I'm small. Battle stations, everyone. Do you really want to have an attention span that is shorter than two cats and a jackson? Bonjo used to have the kind of attention span that you see today. Then he met Jack, and Jack taught him not only how to hunt, but also how to focus and what to do after you've caught your prey. Lessons with Jack would be like, Now, first you have to focus on that moth. Then you have to anticipate it. Now, lift your paw up and grab it now. And because of Jack's training, Bonjo got much better at learning how to hunt. He just needs to remember to bring his face down to his prey when he's done. Jack's like, for goodness sake, you bring your face down, you open your mouth, and you eat it, you conk. Bonus challenge. Next time that you go to the pictures or you're watching a film, try and see how much you can remember. Just one thing that you can remember from the film that you can talk about on the way home with the person that you're going with. And if you're going alone, try to think of something that you enjoyed anyway. Regarding TV programs, can you imagine anyone sitting down for 15 minutes anymore? Because I can't. Everyone watches everything either on their phone or they'll watch a movie and they'll still have their phone in hand doing TikTok. One of the reasons I'm doing this challenge is because I have a lot of problems with my brain. Concentration is very hard for me, so if I have to do this challenge, then it will improve that as well. And as I said, if my dog ends up having a better attention span than me, that's atrocious. 
who is going to join me? I'm going to start this challenge from June the 4th to July the 3rd. If you do it with me next month and you notice an improvement, please let me know. However, if you do notice an improvement, don't stop improving your mind because then you can fall back into your old ways. Keep going next month and the next month after and so on. And it doesn't have to be a reading challenge. Just find something that you can intermingle with your daily life that makes it easier to do rather than be a chore. Your grandparents and maybe your parents used to do crossword puzzles. Why don't you come and play Scrabble with me? My link is in the description. And if you're really brave, why not do something you're not really interested in, but do it because it's good for your brain. If you're still listening to this, then you don't have a two minute attention span. You're handsome and you're beautiful and you, well, I'm speechless. I'll let you know next time I see you. Over to the pits. Hello all, this is Sylvie. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more. Hey everyone, my name's Bonjo. If you enjoyed yourself, then give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Hi everybody, I'm Jack. And if you had fun, then comment down below and let my mum know what you would do if there was a power cut.